You know, when EPA was established in 1970, it was driven largely by the, form, the, the passage of the Clean Air Act, which was an air issue. As the National Program Director for the Air Climate Energy, which uh, program which we call ACE in, in government acronym, uh, I have a diverse program that looks at health effects, control technologies, atmospheric modeling, etc. It is a large EPA-sponsored program, and the Glacier Center is part of our extramural supported programs. Glacier is the Great Lakes Air Center for integrated environmental research. So the objective is quite simple. Uh, we are interested in looking at the interface of two major health problems. You know, one of the aspects that's very important that the glacier researchers are investigating is the relationship between air pollution, more specifically PM2.5, which are the particles that are readily inhalable deep into the lung, and the potential for affecting the health of individuals who are either at risk because of pre-existing obesity or who have diets that might lead to that condition. We are looking at air pollution having effect of exacerbating the metabolic syndrome or the diabetes or the pre-diabetes syndrome. And we, that hypothesis, we, through animal studies and through human health studies, we have found that that is the case. So what's unique about Glacier is that we have uh, mobile labs, and these are semis that have been turned into mobile laboratories that we take into different air sheds throughout the Midwest or the Great Lakes region. A mobile lab that we use, one for coarse particle exposures and one for fine particles, is entirely unique in the world. And without it, um, the whole type of research could not be performed. It being mobile allows us to move the facility relatively uh, easily to different locations. As we move to different air sheds or different communities, we have different chemicals that make up the air pollution that people are exposed to in real life. So we're able to take our mobile laboratories to specific air sheds, whether we have uh, transported aerosols, whether we have uh, urban emissions, we're able to characterize these in a real world environment that people are exposed to in that instant, on that day that we're doing a study, within the community are the same pollutants that are being brought into, through our inlet, our mobile lab, and into the exposure chambers where we have either human subjects or animals. We have a lot of continuous monitoring that's conducted, so we have data points that are recording pollutant levels in real time. We also have uh, other filters that are collecting integrated samples of the exposure for each of the studies and then those samples get archived, are taken back to the laboratory. So after our field study is conducted, we're able to do analysis on the filters in our laboratory at the University of Michigan. Since the early 1970s, the air pollution levels have fallen quite dramatically and they continue, they have continued to do so over the last decade. And in conjunction with that, we've seen a reduction in mortality in direct relation to the amount that air pollution has been reduced. So uh, we need to continue to show that these air pollution regulations we have are, have been effective, are effective, and should continue at what level they are now, and that uh, lessening them or loosening them is not a wise strategy for public health. All of the gains that have been made since the Clean Air Act have been driven by health studies and the regulatory process. So every five years we have to do that evaluation. To do that evaluation we need data, we need science. And the kind of work that, that the, uh, uh, the Glacier folks are doing was unimaginable 20 years ago. One of the end goals of the overall Glacier Center is to be able to use our findings from doing these, conducting these studies in the different air sheds to help inform both the local and state as well as federal policy and decision makers. We're interested in protecting susceptible populations from health effects of air pollutants and not only at national level, but also in a community level as well.